Greetings friends and family members. George Nichols here with a new video update. That's right everybody. It's been over two years since my last video update. I was planning on trying to do it every couple of months to keep you guys up to date, but I didn't. And you know why? Because I haven't done anything exciting. <laughs> but some of you are already putting the pieces together. Wait a minute. George, does, does that mean, does that mean you're about to go and do something exciting? <gasps> what is it? Well, funny you should ask. I've been to many exciting places in my life, truly incredible and unique places. I've been to Japan and Korea, Cambodia, man, Australia, Romania, there's a lot of other places. So. Which one, George? Where are you going this time? You have the whole world before you. What far off and amazing adventure are you gonna go and do this time? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I am going off to the majestic land of Montana. Okay, maybe it's not majestic. I haven't been there in a number of years and even then that was only through the desert half of it, so I've heard it's pretty. <laughs> in part of Montana, and that's the part I'm going to. So I'm going to be joining up with Youth with a Mission in Montana, and they um, offer a number of classes, and I'm gonna be doing a class called the School of Biblical Studies, or SBS. It's nine months long, and it has an outreach at the end of it for three months. You study the whole Bible in that nine months. You're expected to do 40 to 60 hours a week of studying. And I'm ADD and dyslexic, so it's going to be way more for me. I'm like, it's at least going to be 60 hours a week for, for me, if not more. So I'm terrified. <laughs> um, but man, I did a shorter version of this course and it was amazing. Um, I learned so many different things already. I did a three month class or yeah, three month, just a condensed version of this and it, I have such a deeper understanding of the Bible than I ever did. I would highly encourage anybody who's interested, message me and we'll figure it out. Um, it is so incredible. Um, but yeah, so basically the class is what's called inductive Bible study and you learn about the author, you learn about like his whole story, like where is he from, who is it, what, what did his world look like? what would have actually shaped him into that person? Um, who's his audience? And the same questions for them. So what was going on politically? Uh, who was the leader at the time? Who were the neighboring countries? Why would these different things have possibly happened? It's an incredibly in-depth way to study. And man, like I said, if any of you get the opportunity, I say go for it, make it, make it happen. <laughs> it, it, it was life-changing. So yeah. That's my next uh, nine months. I'm leaving in three weeks. I have to start quarantining before I even leave because we're gonna have a number of people on the base and so we wanna do our very best to make sure that we keep the sickness out of there. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my last week. Sunday's my last day to see people and then I'm gonna be uh, quarantined for two weeks before I even get to leave. <sighs> Sorry, I'm missing my friends already. This this week has really, like everything's been kind of hitting me harder. So, man. And I feel like it's the end of an era. I've had the incredible, like I've been super blessed over the past nine years. Um, I keep looking up because this is my apartment that I've lived in for the better part of nine years. And it's uh, on mom and dad's property. <clears throat> and you know they've, they've blessed me so much with um, helping me out and have, having a place for me to stay so I've gone on lots of adventures since then I've done school and been gone for uh, huge chunks of time during that but I mean it's been a huge healing time for me nine years ago it was just a couple months after my divorce and man I was in rough shape at that point <laughs> putting myself back together just, yeah, just reforming who I was and creating a new person because the person I was before that, I was so immature. Um, 
but you know maturing up from that being able to move forward and man building friendships learning more about myself and other people understanding the whole world around me better it's been an incredible ride I I've felt like I've wasted years here on occasion but I feel really at this point like you know as it says in Deuteronomy time spent in the desert is not wasted so I feel like that's really true of my life and I feel like this is the next step and I'm truly moving out before I left a bunch of my stuff here but I'm taking it with me or getting rid of it so I'm truly moving on my plan is to do the nine month school and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing the three-month outreach I hope to and then <clears throat> I'm hoping to join up with Youth of the Mission somewhere I don't know where yet I'm hopeful of YWAM Kauai or maybe YWAM Tokyo uh, I don't know um, my heart is really for teaching and discipling and and counseling really and entertaining but let's be honest I've already mastered that skill <laughs> um, but yeah and YWAM is really an amazing fit for me because you know you get so many people who want to grow and want to change and I've done some counseling classes and stuff and it's such a unique opportunity to be able to help um, people to be healthier help dig in their, into their lives. Even if somebody had a perfect childhood, there's still stuff uh, that's in there that you can pull out and be like, oh, well, why do you struggle with fear? Like, what's this? What's that? And that's my, that's where my heart's at, is to really try and help people to be healthier. So YWAM is an amazing fit for that. So yeah, and I hope to teach there one day. That's really one of my uh, one of my end goals is to be able to teach on the entry class, which is called Discipleship Training, uh, Discipleship Training School, DTS for short. If you guys haven't taken that class, do it. I guarantee it will change your life. It seriously changed the course of my life, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Anyways, and it's and even though it's called Youth of the Mission, everybody's welcome. All right, enough endorsement there. I could go on for three hours about how amazing it is, and I have done that before. But the point is, after that, after the school and the outreach, I'm planning to join up with Youth of the Mission and be able to step fully into my vocation. It's, it's terrifying, it's <laughs> exhilarating, it's heartbreaking. I hate to say goodbye to friends and family and <sighs> yeah, I'm already heartbroken over the whole thing. <laughs> so anyways, if any of you want these video updates, um, I might do some, um, uh, I might type up some updates as well. But those aren't as enjoyable as a video, so <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, uh, send me an instant message with your email and I will add it to the list so that every month or couple of months when I send out another video, letting you guys know what I've learned. Um, I'll make sure that instead of the Facebook gods uh, directing you to my video by happenstance, instead I'll make sure that you get it every single time I send out a video. Um, yeah, questions, comments, anything you want to ask, um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you all. I miss you guys. I miss you guys already. So, all right, enough of this blubbering stuff. <laughs> Bye guys. I'm excited for this adventure and man, I love your prayers, especially just to be able to focus because that's my biggest thing is I need to focus. I know that God's going to bless me and really give me extra grace for this season to be able to do way better. So, um, but yeah, we're told to pray. So, uh, bye guys.